morning everyone welcome to my channel meditating human i am tiffany and today <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> for our focus um i wanted to talk about being the light of god being that eternal light remembering that we have that god spark within us that Although we may be feeling down, we may not 100%, we don't feel like we have that God spark, right? We don't feel as though uh, that we are these magnificent beings. We don't realize, we don't feel as though that we are multidimensional. Um, even though we don't feel that way, Remember, make a note, put it on the wall, that we are a part of God. God is part of us. And that because that is the case, we are the light of God. We have that light, we have that God spark within us, which is another reason why that as the primary creator, not us, but the primary creator, um, that because we have a spark of the primary creator within us, that one of our primary duties, our primary purposes, is to create. And in order for us, and, and obviously, you'll state the obvious, manifesting is is creating and as we fulfill our life's purpose as we move down that path and we create more and more that spark that light will grow within us more and more because while we have incarnated in this body by doing that by creating we are remembering bit by bit who we really are and who we really are are the creators of the universe it sounds so grandiose doesn't it like you are you are the creator of the universe but you are you are the creator of the universe because you add to it you add your creations to the entire thing. Now, we are all universes unto ourselves, but just the whole thing, we add to it. So we are helping to create it all. And when we, as we start to remember who we are, then we start to move forward in that manner we, we tend to not have little menial things bother us anymore. Who cares if that person doesn't like us? Who cares if we couldn't get what we wanted? You know, God forbid, even if there's an accident, it's, is everyone okay? Okay, but the car is a wreck. Who cares? we can get another one, okay? Go get a loaner until the new one is, until the, 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 the current one is fixed. Understanding and knowing what's important and then moving forward in that aspect, knowing that you are taken care of, knowing that God resides within you, knowing that you have this God-like ability to create, and not just create some a small item, but to create on a grand scale. Like everything else, it takes practice, but once you become a master creator, which is the point, then 
easy peasy. I am the eternal light of God. I am an eternal being. I am spirit having a human experience. I am all knowing. I am eternal. I am one with consciousness. And as you internalize that, you just automatically start to resonate with things differently. You start to resonate with things that have a higher vibration. You start to increase your own vibration because now you are speaking the truth and not only speaking the truth, but you are also recognizing the truth and operating from that perspective. And once you start operating from that perspective and you've, because, because you've internalized it, it's now living in your subconscious and you are just operating from that perspective, you will come to find out, you will come to realize, you will come to see that's the word, you will come to see how easy it is for you to manifest, how easy it is for you to create, because now you're operating, your perspective is closer to your true self, it's closer to who you are, because when you know that you are the light of God, when you know you have that God spark within you, you also know that you can do anything and that there are no limitations on your life. The only limitations on your life that exist are the limitations that you put there. No one else has put those limitations there but you, not your parents, not your friends, not the government. Just because we acquiesce to other people's limitations, to other people's small-mindedness, just because we acquiesce to that and then we live within that space does not mean that, does not mean that we are supposed to be there, does not mean that we are limited. It doesn't mean that. It just means that you've acquiesced, you abdicated your power and you've given it to someone else and now they are telling you how you should be from their own limited perspective. Once you realize that you have all the power in the world, still realizing it, still on that journey, um, once you realize that you have all the power, then all of a sudden, you start moving differently. Your swagger is different because you know, or you're starting to realize who you are. Your decisions change. The way your life is going changes because you realize that the way your life is going or what's the people in your life, the people, places, and things in your life are not in alignment with now who you are and you need to go and change your life so it is in now in alignment with your higher self, your higher perspective. I am the eternal light of God. I am an eternal being. I already know who I am. I am all knowing. I am at one with consciousness. I am eternal. I am always manifesting. I am the light of God. Until next time, great ones, wonderful warriors. Until next time, love and light. Bye.